In today's video, you're gonna discover a great exercise to improve your shoulder mobility and keep your shoulders healthy and working through their full range. Yo, what's up? Coach E here from Precision Movement. And today I've got an amazing exercise for you to improve your shoulder mobility and to keep your shoulders healthy. And it takes the shoulders through their full range of motion, working flexion, extension, horizontal flexion, extension, abduction, internal and external rotation, so that every muscle is activated. And by going through the full range of motion, we're getting lots of blood flow into the joint to keep those passive connective tissues healthy as well. Now, when you do this technique, you can do it and it feels really easy. And if it feels really easy, then you're not doing it correctly. So no matter what your mobility is, this technique should feel hard. So pay close attention to the cues that I share with you and you'll get the benefits and you'll feel what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not one of those shirtless YouTube guys that you see all the time, but this one I thought important to show so you can see the shoulder musculature at work. Okay, so this technique I call the extended shoulder circle to crossover. Now I'm gonna show you a rep at the pace that you should be doing at, and then I'll break it down, okay? So, and you do it in both directions, I'll just show the one direction. Okay, and then you start another rep. So you could see the back shoulder musculature working there, all the scapular muscles, deltoids, everything is going crazy during this technique. So how do you do this? How do you do it properly? <clears throat> First of all, you need your good base, standing in alignment. So if you're in forward head, tuck that chin in, get nice and tall, but not hyperextended, okay? Just a nice neutral alignment. <clears throat> First motion is you're gonna go into internal rotation as much as you can so the backs of your hands are facing your thighs and then going to shoulder extension. It's a great technique to learn movement terminology as well. So when I'm in shoulder extension, I'm trying to touch the backs of my hands together but keeping the elbows straight, okay? So the elbows never bend throughout this technique and you always maintain good postural alignment. Once I'm at the end range, I can't lift any higher with an in internal rotation. Then I start to externally rotate here and the scapula are fully retracted, okay? Down and back. As I start to lift my hands up, I'm trying to touch the backs of my hands together. So still forcing the backs of my hands together, my scapula retracted. And once I hit 90 degrees of abduction, right here, so my arms are pillow to the ground, then the scapula start to elevate and upwardly rotate. All the while I'm pushing my hands back, 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 back to engage those back muscles, scapular muscles, okay? Maintain good alignment. You'll tend to want to go into hyperextension here. Keep the abs on, keep the chin tucked. I'm still pushing my hands back now as I'm reaching my arms up overhead. So the hands are going that way. Elbows stay straight. Keep the hands going that way. Now, when we come up overhead, you come down, start to come down, you're starting to go into adduction. It doesn't matter which one you cross over first. And I'm trying to push my hands that direction. So this hand goes that way, this hand goes that way. Fully engaging the pecs here. My scapular are protracted now. And then as I sweep down, what you'll notice 
is my scapular protraction as I go into internal rotation, goes into scapular retraction. Maintaining good alignment of the spine, and then you repeat, okay? So that slow pace is what you want it to be like. One rep should take you anywhere from at least 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. The longer you make it, the more effective it's gonna be for you, okay? So you go in one direction, and then you go in the other direction. So you start with the crossover now, trying to squeeze as tight as you can. This is a range that we don't often train. Keep the arms crossed as close together as possible as you raise up. Elevate the scapula, reach those arms up, shrug. Okay, don't keep those shoulder blades down and back. I'm pushing my hands back that way as I open up. <clears throat> All the while pushing my hands back, controlling, making sure I'm not hyperextending the spine, pinching those scapula together as much as I can, and then going into internal rotation. Elbows stay straight so the movement's from the shoulder. And then I sweep and then go back into the rep. And it's good to switch up which arm goes over top, okay? So there you have it. The extended shoulder circle to cross over. As you heard, as I was describing it, internal and external rotation, abduction, adduction, extension, flexion, every muscle activated, shoulders burning, feeling good and healthier, okay? So do anywhere from two to four repetitions in each direction. I do this now every day when I wake up and as part of my warm-ups. So every workout I do, if I'm using upper body in any way, whether it's playing tennis, doing overhead presses, push-ups, whatever it is that I'm training where I'm using the upper body, this technique is a great big bang technique. It gives you a big bang for your buck to get a lot done in one movement, okay? So there you have it. The first time I introduced this to you on YouTube here was in my golf warm up. So if you golf, definitely check that out. But I wanted to call this exercise out on its own because it's just such a beneficial technique that I think everybody in the world should be doing it. Okay, everybody with shoulders at least. So there you have it extended shoulder circle to cross over. If you like this one, you think it's going to be beneficial for you definitely check out my shoulder control course because it's filled with techniques like this and a lot more. And this one's great for maintaining mobility and shoulder health, but the course is filled with techniques that will reprogram your movement patterns, fix muscle imbalances, and actually improve mobility. So targeted exercises to improve different aspects of mobility, whether it's extension, whether it's shoulder flexion, reaching up overhead, horizontal extension, you name it, every range is covered. So if you're interested, check that out. I'll link to it at the end of this video. Otherwise, hope to see you next time. Peace.